we, we've had nine 10 plus win seasons in a row. We're, that's the third longest streak in the history of college football. And we're just getting going. All right. So uh, that's the type of consistency that I dreamed about, you know, 10 years ago. Uh, and we came right out of the gate that first year in 09, we, we won the division, played for the championship that very first year. And first time we'd won a division, we won nine games. And, and then the second year, we kind of, you know, and a lot of people, they look at that second year and we only won six games. But that 2010 team, that's when I knew that we were on the right track as a culture. I knew that the culture of our program was really taking root. I could see it in how the guys competed. We lost five games by six points or less. We lost two in overtime. One of them to the national champion Auburn that year. And I just saw a team competing and coming together and caring about each other and really buying into the things that, that I was trying to create in the program. And, uh, and then the next year, here we come. 2011, my third year, we won 10 games. We won the ACC for the first time in 20 years. And then and we, we stunk in the bowl game. We got destroyed in the Orange Bowl. It was so disappointing. But, you know, disappointment is part of growth. You know, there, there's called growing pains. And that was one of our growing pains. We came back the next year, 111, beat LSU in the Chick-fil-A Bowl in an epic battle, made a kick with two seconds. You know, they learned how, they were learning how to win. But that 2011 team started out 8-0, and then we kind of finished like this. All right, the 2000, they didn't really know how to win. That 2012 team, man, the consistency, 11-2, they won that huge uh, big time bowl game against an unbelievable LSU team. We come back in 13. We win 11 again. We win our first BCS bowl. We beat Ohio State. Uh, it was unbelievable. You know, back two years later at the Orange Bowl, all that disappointment two years before. And now here we are beating Ohio State, winning our first BCS uh, bowl. And then we come back in 15, in uh, 14, and Deshaun Watson shows up. Uh, we, we beat South Carolina because we had had a bad run there. We beat South Carolina. We go and beat Oklahoma 40 to six in the bowl game. And just the consistency, won 10 games again. Then we come back in 15, we go 14 and 0 and we, and we get beat in the national championship game in an unbelievable game, 45 to 40 to Alabama out in Arizona. And we lost that game, but I felt like our brand won that night. I felt like that we went from a program that uh, uh, really thought we were good enough to win a game like that. You know, again, it had been since 1981 since Clemson had played in a game like that. <clears throat> and you have to learn. But we went from a, a program that, that thought they were good enough to knowing they were good enough. And, and we come back in 16 and we win it all. We go 14 and one, we beat Alabama. And, we, and the ironic thing is we beat them in Tampa, in, in Tampa for the national championship, the stadium that we started out in 09, my first season playing that first ACC championship game in the same stadium. And I remember walking off that field in 09, disappointed, we didn't win the ACC my first year. And here we are seven years later winning the national championship in the same stadium. And I thought about that Galatians 6-9, not growing weary. And I thought about all the success, but all the failures and the challenges and those things. and and how we had stayed the course. And, and uh, it was an unbelievable moment, you know, to win the national championship with one second on the clock uh, in Tampa uh, was, it was just a beautiful thing. And then we come back in 17, back to the playoff, back to, to go to the Sugar Bowl, uh, win the ACC again, come back in 18, win the ACC again, go undefeated 15-0, and the first team in the history of college football to be undefeated, 15 and 0, modern day football. And at all year long, everybody said Alabama was the best ever and nobody could beat them and they were undefeated too. First of all, we had to play an undefeated Notre Dame and we beat them 30 to three. And then we come back and now we're gonna play Alabama for out in California for the whole thing, two 14 and 0 teams. We have a true freshman quarterback in Trevor Lawrence. They have a generational quarterback in, in, in Tua Tungavaloa. And, uh, you know, obviously they had beat us in the Sugar Bowl the year before. We had beat them in the national championship the year before. And here we are 
and we win 44 to 16 against the team that all year long everybody said was the best ever. And Clemson, little old Clemson, a uh, program that we started in, uh, in, with that 08 interim six game stretch. Uh, here we are, um, you know, 15 and 0, and uh, uh, winning the national championship against the team that's been the best this decade. And, and uh, so it's just been an amazing journey. And, and now, now, you know, my goal back in 09 was to, was to have the winningest decade in the history of Clemson football. And uh, we've been able to do that.